What's up guys, Mikkel here, and we're currently watching one of the biggest shakeups we have ever seen in the cryptocurrency market. In this video, I want to talk about the SEC's new agenda to go after Ethereum and proof-of-stake cryptocurrencies. This is absolutely shocking. I want to talk about exactly how this is going to benefit the XRP ledger and XRP, because guys, I think this could have some huge implications going forward. I also want to talk about towards the end of the video, something extremely exciting involving a CBDC being designed by Ripple in the United States. Guys, make sure to stick around for that. You are not going to want to miss it. Like always, your support means so much to this channel. Thank you to everyone who likes the videos and is subscribed to my channel. These things really do help me out so much. Also, if you ever need a place to buy some XRP, make sure to check out my favorite exchange up hold down in the description of this video. With that said, let's jump right into it, and I hope you guys enjoy the content. So I want to start this video out and talk about the SEC's 180 agenda to now go after Ethereum, because guys, this was absolutely shocking to me. It dropped earlier today, and I fully did not expect this. I am fully aware that there was a lot of sketchy stuff going on at the ethereum foundation in the early days i am fully aware that the eth foundation did an illegal ico and had a securities offering but i never thought in my wildest dreams the sec would go after ethereum and the reason i didn't think the sec would do this was they were extremely tied up in the whole ethereum free pass they were entirely tied up with the ethereum corruption so i didn't think there was any way the sec was going to dig up their own grave uncover their own skeletons by going after ethereum I thought the SEC would rather just slam the door on Ethereum, forget about it, and move on. But what we're seeing right now play out in the market is that might not be the case. We found out earlier today that there's actually a government organization going after Ethereum, and there are a lot of reports coming out now that it's the SEC. According to some reporting earlier today by Eleanor Tarrett, it looks like the SEC is going to try to corner Ethereum based on its staking model and say that Ethereum in the past was perfectly fine, like we said, but now that it transitioned to proof of stake, now it's a security. Now, guys, this is absolutely shocking because it shows that the SEC, right, is going to do everything in their power to claim whatever cryptocurrency they possibly can is a security. And going after proof of stake is an easy way to try to corner a large portion of the market all into being securities. Most of the consensus models out there are proof of stake. Not the XRP ledger, right? Not the Flare network, not Bitcoin, but a lot of the other cryptocurrencies out there are in fact proof of stake. So it looks like the SEC is trying to completely flip their strategy, go after proof of stake and claim that makes something a security, and as a result, take over a large portion of the market. Now, I have a couple things to say about this, right? First of all, I don't think Ethereum is a security, me personally. I think the ICO was a securities transaction. I think there's a lot of sketchy stuff involving the anonymous whales in the beginning. All of that I think is true, but I really don't think personally that Ethereum should be a security. The SEC is a horrible track record in court. I don't think they're going to win this, but I do think it's going to cause a lot of drama on Ethereum and cause the same fear that we saw in the XRP community for a long time in the middle of that case to flow over to the Ethereum network. The other thing I'll say is I really do think this is just a start for issues involving proof of stake. Obviously, the SEC is going to attack this and try to use it to leverage their regulatory authority and try to take over proof of stake networks. But there's a lot more issues with proof of stake. The simple fact that proof of stake is governed by who has the most tokens seems like a massive flaw to me and something I've never been able to get over. If I can simply buy influence into a network, then... The only thing that really makes it decentralized is the amount of big holders you have in the network. Because if you have a government agency come in or any kind of large corporation like BlackRock and start purchasing the tokens to take control, they severely outweigh the economic power of any retail holder. So these large corporations can just take over these networks simply by accumulating large portions of the token. To me, this has always been a massive issue in the whole proof of stake model. This has always been a massive issue in how these networks are governed. So I don't think the issues really stop at the fact that the SEC is trying to call the security. To me, it seems like the entire proof of stake model is kind of built on a house of cards and was doomed to fail from the start. Now, the good news is, is this is going to completely shift the scrutiny of the industry away from tokens like XRP. If the SEC has any success here, we're going to see the entire market flip on its head. Think about it this way. The XRP ledger right now is incorporating an EVM sidechain. Most of the projects built on Ethereum are not going to want to deal with this drama of the SEC's impending case. They're not going to want to deal with the drama of possibly, right, having to register as a security with the United States SEC. So what could they do simply? They could come over to the XRP ledger via the EVM sidechain and build there. Or they could just come over to the XRP ledger and build natively. 
the XRP ledger right doesn't have this same staking risk. The XRP ledger is not a proof of stake network. So overall, this is very, very positive to the future of the XRP ledger. It's very positive to the well thought out consensus mechanism the XRP ledger has had since the start. Now, I don't want the XRP ledger to win because of regulatory capture. I don't want the XRP ledger to win because the SEC is cracking down on proof of stake, which I don't even understand how they're going to call that a security. But at the end of the day, the XRP ledger in no doubt in my eyes is going to benefit massively if the SEC really does come down and crack down on this proof of stake model. Proof of stake is a house of cards. I think this is only going to highlight the issues with it and networks like the XRP ledger are just built so much more robust. Their networks aren't dependent on who has the most value and their networks completely get out of the proof of stake consensus issue. The SEC is now trying to say make something a security. I believe over the long term, the XRP ledger is going to win based on its fundamentals. I think over the long term, the XRP ledger is going to win because of Ripple's strategy to work from the top and move down, work with the biggest institutions on earth, get them on board, and then have them on board their smarter, smaller clients. I don't think Ripple's going to win because of this regulatory capture of proof of stake. And I don't want Ripple and XRP to win that way. But at the end of the day, I think this is only going to drive more projects to the XRP ledger, especially with the clarity XRP now already has. Guys, in the beginning of the SEC case, it stunk watching the XRP ledger being singled out as the only network the SEC was calling a security. But now that XRP is deemed not a security and Ripple is almost completed with the Ripple SEC case, we're almost done with this entire journey. But now other projects are now entering that period of uncertainty. Other projects are now facing the same scrutiny Ripple and XRP got over with years ago. So that seems to be a big benefit here. And I think as big institutions start stepping into this field, as we go into one of the biggest institutional bull runs we've ever seen, this scrutiny being put on Ethereum is going to be a massive issue for the big institutions stepping in. Guys, overall, this is a complete head fake, something I was never expecting to see. But but overall, I think it's going to have serious tailwinds for the XRP ledger because, guys, we have already won our battle. We won the war against the SEC. These projects are just getting started. I want to move on, though, and talk about something that came across my screen and my jaw kind of hit the floor a little bit. What this is, is a collaboration between the Digital Found Foundation and the Digital Dollar Project. Guys, one of the biggest contributors to the Digital Pound Foundation is Ripple. Ripple has been all over this thing. Brad Garlinghouse is constantly meeting with the people in charge of the Digital Found Foundation. Now, it's been no secret, but something that is completely new, something that we were completely not aware of, was that the Digital Dollar Project was going to team up with the Digital Pound Foundation. Guys, something we have seen throughout history is typically Europe will adopt new regulations, Europe will adopt new policies, Europe will adopt new whatever, and then the United States will wait to see how that plays out and eventually move in if it's working well. To me, this seems like that same exact thing. Ripple is working with the Digital Pound Foundation. Ripple is working with the Digital Pound Foundation to build a CBDC and incorporate blockchain technologies into their financial rails. And the Digital Dollar Project was watching that and saying, OK, that looks like it's working great. Sign us up next. Guys, to me, this is essentially the Digital Dollar Project taking on a partnership with Ripple. Ripple has been all over the Digital Pound Foundation. And now the Digital Pound Foundation is linking up with the Digital Dollar. To me, this is showing me all the signs that Ripple is going to have a significant place in building both of these systems. Overall, though, guys, I think the most important thing we need to take away from this is these two foundations are looking to build the future financial rails that we're going to be using in the future. These two foundations are looking to build the next generation financial system, the next generation platform for essentially domestic currencies in their jurisdictions. The fact that Ripple is working with these organizations, the fact that Ripple is already helping these organizations develop these systems just show how important Ripple is going to be in in this system we are heading into. Ripple is working behind the scenes. Ripple is working with the big institutions outside the eyes of retail. They don't want you to know what's being built. They don't want you to see the progress. They want the progress to be sprung on you instantaneously. They want it to be realized all at once. Meanwhile, the rest of these projects are running around marketing the dumbest things for hype. It is two completely different strategies. But ultimately, I do believe this idea Ripple has of working from the top and working down through 
retail is such a better strategy than trying to get retail to adopt the solution and then having retail convince the big banks, the jurisdictions, the governments to adopt the retail solution. I don't think that's how these things work. I think Ripple has had the right idea since day one. And this is just further confirmation that Ripple is involved with the biggest players building these things behind the scenes as we speak. I want to finish this video off and just quickly talk about the Federal Reserve because it's something I mentioned yesterday in my video. So I just want to close out this video and wrap that thing up. Guys, the Federal Reserve is now pretty much confirming they want to cut rates at the end of the year. The Federal Reserve is pretty much confirming that despite the fact that we have seen a bumpy road in inflation coming down, inflation is still coming down. These are all really, really good signs. Countless times after countless times, I have seen people on X saying one data point is enough for the Federal Reserve to start hiking rates again. One data point is enough for the Federal Reserve to completely get rid of rate cuts at the end of the year. But those people have been proven wrong again and again. Guys, I don't think most people are bulls. I don't think most people are expecting rate cuts at the end of the year. But these are the kinds of things that would surprise people to the upside. These are the kinds of things that people are just not seeing right now. But I think we're looking at a perfect storm for capital to flow back into the cryptocurrency market, to flow back into the stock market as the Federal Reserve cuts rates towards the end of the year guys throughout every single fed meeting i get more and more positive that we are heading in the right direction we are getting away from these macroeconomic fears and moving back into an environment where capital can flow back into high risk high growth projects guys this is how the vcs see the cryptocurrency industry and if this all aligns with institutional adoption we really could be looking at one of the biggest bull markets we have ever seen guys i have been talking about this narrative for four to five months now but it's all playing out slowly right in front of our eyes guys thank you so much for coming i hope you enjoyed this update if you did make sure to like and subscribe it really does mean so much and for now mickle out Woo!